Apple just released a new update to Logic Pro X, and according to them, this is the biggest release ever in the history of Logic. Let's find out what is in store for us. Hello there girls and boys, welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I made a song using the newest addition to Logic Pro X, in the name of Live Loops. Before anything else happens, if you're new to the channel I welcome you, and I invite you to join this community by liking and subscribing to this channel. Because I believe that every musician in the world should know how to use their software to reach their fullest potential. In this channel I give you the tools that you need in order to understand how to make music in this new century. So with that being said, let's get into Logic Pro X now. Welcome back girls and boys to Logic Pro X. In front of us we got the usual suspect, yes, our usual Logic Pro X screen, but if you pay close attention you will see that there is a new set of buttons over here. And if I press on one of them, bam, this is gonna happen. Yes, this is the new interface of the newly added live loop uh, system or function that Logic Pro X is, is now adding into the whole package. What it is, well, if you're familiar with any form of drum machine or, or, or even machine by native instruments, you will have an idea of what we're talking about. For those of you who are new to this thing, it's something like so this. In mind that every single one of those little blocks, they are called cells in, in Logic and they represent a region or a pattern that is going to be played by the by the system by its own following a set tempo. Let me show it to you. If I press pr press this little arrow, this is what is going to happen. That here is the cool part. Now that we got a bunch of cells, you can notice that we got this little number over here. And if I press on this arrow, see what happens. What just happened was that uh, Logic is now adding the function of being able to play different patterns at the same time and play them live. And this is something that is really cool. Now imagine being able to touch those different cells using your fingers. Well, yeah, it's possible thanks to the I iPad. In here, I got my iPad set up using the Logic Remote software that is also available on, on the App Store. And in here, I'm going to be able to change and to pick and to select any single one of the cells with my fingers. Let me show it to you. I'm going to press number one and we're going to start playing the same, the first, the first array of, of patterns. This is the crazy part. Since you're using the iPad, you are not just forced to use the array that you have uh, following the, the same pattern that you already established. Let me explain. In here, you can press any of the different combinations of buttons, like if you would using the using this, the 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 mouse. I'm going to show it to you first using the mouse, and then I'm going to use the iPad. So here we go. We're going to press number four, so we can play the whole pattern. <laughs> just explain to you the whole concept behind the system. Now I'm gonna explain to you everything that it's going on behind the scenes. In here you can see that we got different tracks and some of those tracks are MIDI instruments and some others are real recordings. So I'm gonna show you first what an instrument is. 
In here we got the virtual instruments and if you double click on any of those regions or cells to be precise, you're going to be presented with the regular piano roll, the one that you've been using for since, since the beginning of Logic. But if you double click on this little thing that we got over here, this is not a, this is not a cell, this is a pattern. Bam! We are presented now with a new addition to the whole concept. This, for those of you who are familiar with the with with that with that drum machine, this is a pattern-based uh, rhythm or, or music production system. And basically speaking, we're gonna have a playhead that is gonna be going from one side to the other. And every single one of those little uh, colors that you see here, each of them represents as a hit or a note. And uh, every single time that the playhead goes through uh, on top of one of them, that sound is gonna be played. So let me play this for you so you can have an One thing that you have to keep in mind is that every single thing that you press in here, every single cell is following this, the quantize start. This means that every single time that you press any of the cells, it's going to take the amount of time that you set over here to get us started. As a, as a standard, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come with one bar uh, before it starts playing. You can change it, but keep always that in mind. Now, let's say that we want to add another section to our pattern. In here, as you can see, this pattern is composed of four different instruments. And in here, I'm going to show you what it is comprised of. Let me introduce you to the another of the new elements of this software, which is the Drum Machine Designer. This is just a, well, it's a, it's a really outstanding uh, piece of software that we are going to delve into in another video. But for the time being, this is just a drum machine, okay? In here, we got four different uh, sounds. One of uh, the first one is the kick drum, then a, a snare drum, then a hi hat, and a hi hat, but open hi hat, okay? If you pay close attention, you can see that we got the whole uh, playhead over here. Well, not the playhead, the, the loop. This is right in front of you. And we are going to add a new element, which is going to be the open hi-hat. You do it by pressing this little uh, plus sign and then hit pieces and then select the one that you want to add. In this, in this situation, we're going to add the open hi-hat. And now it's added into the whole uh, pattern. If I press any of these little uh, uh, dark green colors or, or blocks, you're going to see that I they, they change color, which means that every single time that the playhead goes through that area, there is going to be a new hit added. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to play it for you. Cool. Now, this is a great question, and I'm glad that you didn't ask. Can you record live while doing this? Yes, you can. Let me show it to you now. After we created a new channel, this is what we're going to do. We are going to uh, press play. Let's say that we want to add a new, a, new, a new cell in here. Okay, now we just set record in here. And it's just a matter of selecting the area or the cell that we want to record in. And as you can see, we have a new icon, and it is this uh, red dot. It's just a more pressing it. Here we go. And let's see how it sounds like. Awesome. Now you might be wondering what would happen if I want to record something with in the in the arrangement section. That's a good question. Let me show it to you. Okay. Using the same example, we're gonna duplicate the track that we made for the voice, and we're gonna try to make uh, to come up with a, with a nice harmony. If I'm not uh, if I don't suck at it. And here we go. We're gonna do the same. And here we go. Bam. 
Damn. Let's see if it works. First, make sure that the harmony is following the same the same pattern, the same time, and here we go. What happened? Oh, this is important. In here, we gotta make sure that we press this little arrow, and in this arrow, we can we can tell logic that where what where do we want the sound to be coming from? If we want it to come from the arrangement window or from the live loop system. In here, when you press it like this, it's coming from the arrangement. If you press it like this, it's coming from the live looping system. So, what I'm gonna do is, since I recorded this thing over here, I'm just gonna drag it and throw it into the live looping and see what happens. Isn't it cool? And now if I press this little arrow, Incredible. Now the whole point of this is to come up with ideas and then send it to your arrangement window. That way you can have the best of both worlds. Let me show it to you now. There is this little final icon that we haven't touched upon and if we press on it, bam, this is gonna happen. We're telling Logic that everything that is gonna happen on the, on the live looping system is gonna be sent to the arrangement window so we can work on them on, the, on all of those, on all of those uh, instruments and all of the different files that we got already going on uh, in our usual fashion. So the way to go is this. After we set it up in this way, it's just some more press record and perform. Here we go. here is this. Isn't it beautiful? We got every single one of those tracks, every single one of the movements of the changes that I did on the live looping system, it's are now reflected on the arrangement window, which is gonna allow me to keep working on my stuff using the traditional Logic Pro X approach. Bam. This new update is amazing. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting less from Apple. They have been quite steady and they have been producing really amazing software, at least on the musical side for the last few years. Now, uh, some people said that this software update was more uh, gathered or more geared towards people who are more into the into the beat making or into the into the electronic music uh, sphere. But in reality, it is not. In my opinion, it's, it's just geared to anybody who is making music and it's another way to express yourself using technology. If you like this kind of content, the best way to support this channel is the listener to music on Apple Music or Spotify and also follow us on social media such as Instagram or Facebook. On Instagram you will have access to the live broadcast of the Sound Alchemy podcast, which is a conversation that happens between you and us, which is always awesome. And as in every single time that I meet you girls and boys, I gotta remind you something, never let anybody tell you what to dream about, and I will see you. I see you.